After 25 years at sea, Zheng Yu has aged gracefully. It's traveled the world carrying rice, wheat, and sometimes coal in its 18,000 ton hull. The Chinese crew loved the Zheng Yu. So they packed their bags and handed it over to Captain Anam very reluctantly. He has the risky job of sailing the Zheng Yu onto the beach, where it will be demolished. The ships which are coming for demolition, they have difficulty in moving around because the engines are too old. So you have to also watch out the strength of the current, the strength of the ship, and the weather itself. It's on this beach that the Zheng Yu will be dismantled. The young men use very basic tools to strip the vessels of their metal. They often risk their lives. It's hard, but we just got a raise. Now I earn $30 a month. This 33-year-old shipyard owner bought the Zheng Yu for $11 million. He says it's a bargain. This ship doesn't mean only the steel. It's included lots of things. Domestic market, getting this item, very lower price. These scraps are used locally to build roads, buildings, and even buses. The owners of these shipyards believe that this is a green industry because they say they recycle, reuse the steel on these boats. But environmentalists say that this industry is threatening the ecosystem. For the past 40 years, tons of hazardous metals and gallons of toxic chemicals have been dumped on the beach. Barrister Rizwana Hussain blames lax environmental laws. There is tremendous pressure from the Western countries on the government of Bangladesh to continue with shipbreaking because the Western countries are scared that if Bangladesh regulates it, it may go away from Bangladesh and they'll have to look for an alternative place. And finding an alternative place has not been easy for them. The tide is on Captain Anam's side. At full speed, we head towards the beach. At any moment, the vessel can break. Quick, quick, quick. All of a sudden, okay. an engine failure. Out of port. The crew quickly regains control and the Zheng Yu is safely beached. It will take five months for these men to dismantle her. For the Chinese sailors, the ship had become their home and saying goodbye wasn't easy. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Chittagong.